Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number LB8002-450-6. This is a uh, hinge that I don't sell very often, and it's only because three-knuckle concealed bearing hinges, um, they're a bit pricier, especially in stainless steel. Uh, but they are sure at, uh, aesthetically pleasing, there's no doubt about that. Let's dissect the part number. First of all, LB stands for lube bearing. It is a concealed, maintenance-free bearing type construction item from uh, Bomber. Okay. The 8000 means it's a three-knuckle hinge um, versus the 5000, which is a five-knuckle hinge. The two means it's stainless steel. That specifically means that the material is stainless, okay, very slightly magnetic, versus a part number like an LB8000 would be steel-based. An LB8001 would be brass or bronze, depending on the finish. LB8002 is your stainless. Dash 450 now, that means that the hinge is four and a half by four and a half. Four and a half inches tall, four and a half inches wide, Oh, sorry. There's a, there we go. Four and a half, four and a half. The height is first on a hinge like this. You would say that it's four and a half tall, four and a half wide. Keep you out of trouble if you were doing wide throw hinges, or let's say a five by four and a half, or a four and a half by four. Heights first on that. Okay. Six three zero. That means it's not only stainless steel, slightly magnetic as you can see. So stainless steel and also um, satin, brushed finish, that is 630. It means two things, stainless steel with a brushed or satin finish rather than a polished finish is what that is. This is for a medium uh, weight door with average frequency, meaning uh, it's a reference to the thickness of the leaf, which on this hinge is 134 thousandths thick. Typical square corner commercial grade hinge template pattern on the screw holes and speaking of the screw holes screws are included with a hinge like this you're typically going to get all woods uh, pardon me all metal screws so you can do a metal front door metal frame and half wood screws metal frame wood door is what they're counting on uh, with that this is a non-rising removable pin the pin can be now regarding the pin options, uh, because this is considered non-rising, meaning that it won't over time creep out, generally does not, um, it can be removed, obviously, by driving a nail or something through there, driving the pin out. Uh, options uh, would be for security pin. You could have a non-removable pin option here, drilled and tapped a set screw would be into the base of the uh, knuckle here. A groove is generally cut in the pin so that when you seat the pin and tighten the set screw, it all but prevents that pin from coming out. That is, that is true. I've tried to get into a door that had that set. They don't come out. Not without you really being determined. Um, a very appropriate hinge for any sort of exterior application where a bit of aesthetic um, difference between a standard five knuckle hinge is required. Hollow metal doors are going to use these. You might have a uh, hospital. All the exterior steel doors, loading dock areas would have this or its thicker version, the heavyweight version of this, uh, which would be very typical as well. What other people like about this uh, hinge as well is the flush condition on the knuckle or tip assembly. Once you seat that pin, that's going to be all but flush is how that's going to work. There is a link below this video to the cut sheet, which shows everything important dimensionally about this hinge, specifically where the screws are located. But it also gives a lot of information in the table below regarding how the part number changes based on other hinge, uh, hinges from Bomber. While it's not completely obvious what all those part number means, we can kind of identify the difference now in this video so that you're aware of uh, Bomber's different options. First of all, you've got three columns under the catalog number. Steel hinges, brass or bronze hinges, and stainless steel. The two, you can see there that it means uh, stainless steel, as we discussed earlier. If that two becomes a one, then you have a brass or bronze hinge. If it's a zero, you've got a steel-based hinge. 
5,000 is a five knuckle hinge versus this three knuckle hinge. If there is no BB or no LB, that means it's a plane bearing hinge. This hinge is an LB. It would look pretty much the same as the 8002. This this LB8002 would look much the same as an 8002, except that in the in the interior raceway preparation here has been made for ball bearings. Okay, so you've got 5,000 five knuckle hinges, 8,000 three knuckle hinges, BB or LB that gives you the bearings. Okay. The only other difference really is where you're going to see the part number would be 8010. As you can see from the table to the right, that would give you a wide throw sort of hinge. Then the balance of that cut sheet, you know, uh, we pretty much discovered and covered. Uh, if you have any other additional questions about the variants that Bomber can manufacture uh, on this hinge, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, the last thing I'd like to show you is the Bomber logo. Right above it, it says Made in USA, a fact that Bomber is quite proud of as am I to represent them. They are a comprehensive manufacturer of all things commercial hinge related. Uh, but not only that, they're really, when someone thinks of Bomber, they're usually thinking of their double acting spring hinges, their 3029 series. Uh, made in USA, uh, all of it. Any questions on this or any other Bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us.